The Nairobi National Park is not only Kenya's oldest national park, but also happens to be the only national park within a capital city in the world, making it a very unique offering. It has long sloping plains, deep river valleys and gorges. The park is full of unexpected beauty and diverse habitats, which include rolling grassy plains, riverine woodlands, dense thickets, rocky gorges, dry upland forests, with teeming wildlife and over 400 species of birds. The Nairobi National Park is a habitat to so many giraffes due to the savanna environment. They're the tallest animals in the world at an average height of 5 meters. Their extreme height allows them to eat leaves and shoots located much higher than other animals can reach. In particular, they seek out acacia trees. Spending most of their day eating, a full-grown giraffe consumes over 45 kgs of leaves and twigs a day. These impalas have the highest population in the park. They move in herds which offer protection from predators such as lions and leopards. When there's a threat, an alert impala will back out an alarm that puts the entire herd to flight. Zebras are social animals who spend time in herds. They graze together primarily on grass and even groom one another. Zebras must be constantly wary of lions and hyenas in the Nairobi National Park. A herd has many eyes alert to danger and if an animal is attacked, its family will come to its defense, circling the wounded zebra and attempting to drive off the predators. We came across this rhino late in the afternoon while it was grazing. From its features, one can tell it's a white rhino. White rhinos are grazers, hence they have a square upper lip in contrast to the black rhinos, which are browsers and have triangular hook-shaped upper lips evolved to strip leaves off low-growing trees and bushes. Black rhinos are smaller compared to white rhinos. This white rhino here has a big head, long neck, and is built slightly different with its hips lower than its shoulders. Rock high rocks look a bit like large guinea pigs or rabbits with very short ears. As the name implies, they hang out in areas where there are boulders, rock formations, or even little nooks on sheer cliffs that provide shelter and protection. High rocks feet are built for rock climbing. The bottom of each foot is bare and has a moist rubbery pad that lifts up in the center for a suction cup effect to help the high rocks cling to rocks and other smooth surfaces without slipping. They feed in a circular formation with their head pointing to the outside of the circle to keep an eye for outside predators such as leopards, hyenas, pythons and eagles. This African fish eagle has just perched on that branch in search of a prey. It is a familiar bird of prey on waterways of sub-Saharan Africa noted for their distinctive and haunting call. These eagles perch on branches overlooking the water, swooping down to catch fish which are carried back to the perch or dragged to show if they are too big to carry. African fish eagles also eat birds, monkeys and even crocodile hatchings. These efficient predators can get away with spending as little as 10 minutes a day actively hunting. These wild guinea fools walk around in groups and spend much of their time scratching around the ground in search of something to eat. Its long dark colored feathers and bald neck and head makes it a very distinctive bird. The guinea fool is a fairly resilient and highly adaptable bird and is therefore found naturally in range of habitats. Wild guinea fools can be found inhabiting jungles, forests, shrublands, grasslands and even areas of desert, depending on the abundance of food. When they feel threatened, they are usually first to disappear into the nearest bush they find. These skull-like islands are the world's largest antelopes. As we're driving, we found them in the grassland side of the park because they browse more than they graze. They feed in areas where shrubs and bushes provide leaves they prefer and use their horns to bring twigs and branches into their reach. These two males decided to settle the score head-to-head -head over this female island who never seemed bothered by the fights. This black and white colobus monkey was a bit too friendly when it came close to us expecting food and treats. This type of monkeys are found in a diversity of habitats including primary and secondary deciduous forests, mountain forests, lowland swamps, coastal forests and moist savanna. They feed on leaves, stem, bark, flower, buds, shoots, fruits and some aquatic plants. <laughs> 